Now, I was on the lookout for a summer two-person backpacking tent. And as ever with YouTube things, I never accept anything unless I think it would be cool. And often I'll reach out to the company myself and request it. And happily, Fern said they were, should send me one. And I think it looks absolutely excellent. So this is my unbiased first look at this tent. I can't go camping tonight for reasons I'll explain later, but I hope you enjoy the video and I hope you enjoy this first look at the Fern Gok Ota 2. Why Gok Ota? Well, that's a word that refers to the dawn chorus. I hope you can hear the birds in the background, particularly getting up early, taking in the morning and listening to the bird song. So that's something I hope to be doing in this tent soon. There's a one man version as well. I'll put a link below where you can buy these. Now, bit of a secret, there's the Fern website, but shh, Fern is also owned by the same holding company that runs Sport Pursuit. Now, this tent is 250 pounds on that site, and I have seen it discounted to that, I think 250 or 260 on the main Fern site. So have a check of both sites. So 250 pound for a good quality three season, two person tent compared to some others from mainstream manufacturers, it could be an absolute bargain. But as I say, this is just first impressions and we're gonna get on first with a look at the weights and dimensions to see if Fern's measurements check out with mine. And then I'll bring you back for the pitch and having a look inside. Fern say the total packed weight is 1,520 grams. It's not touching the table anywhere. 1,580 with that label. So spot on, well done Fern. And the pack size is actually overestimated by them. Really great to see a tent manufacturer doing that. Let's hope all the rest of the stats are generous as well and underestimated by them. That'll be fantastic and unusual. Labeled Fern and the collar for the Gok Ota is time. Fern say the pack size is 44, the tiny bit of squishing that's 42, and they say the width is 15, and I make that 15 as well. Great, accurate. So it's a nice nylon stuff sack, a couple of clips on it there as you can see. Pop that open and it's the lovely open drawstring type with a flap and pitching instructions right there. So this will be the pegs. Let's have a look at those first. Pegs weigh collectively 85 grams. Y shaped section with a bit of a curve on them. Branded fern. I'm a fan of long pegs and these pegs weigh eight grams each, which is nice and light, but are only 15 centimeters. Uh, I quite like something more like 20. So holding power on these other than in the best ground isn't gonna be great, but bear in mind, this is a three season lightweight tent. So there's bound to be some compromises. 10 pegs. Now the poles weigh 414 grams, fern say 400, and they are 40 centimeters long. So that's not gonna be super compact for your handlebars. A lot of bi bikes it would go on, but uh, yeah, and this pole's all one piece. So I think uh, that's enough of that. Let's get back to the pitching and look at the tent. The poles are branded fern and they're a one piece kind of uh, double Y structure with a cross piece, 8.5 millimeters. 
this nice metal joining piece here. This is the footprint, which is 20D nylon and the upper part where there is solid panels in the inner is 15D nylon and the outer tent is also 15D nylon, siliconized on the outside and I think PU and taped on the inside. So no seam sealing required. Now this is an inner pitch tent first and for a three season tent that doesn't, doesn't worry me at all. I think it's just a case of getting organized, having your fly ready, having your poles and pegs ready so you can be nice and swift if there is any showers. The dog's sitting there on guard as per usual, but she's been on so many camps now, you think she could at least hold up eggs or something. <laughs> I suppose keeping guard is uh, her job. Now, Fern don't do a footprint for this tent yet, but what I'm using is an old Van Gogh one from the Van Gogh Zephyr 2. And this seems to fit absolutely perfectly. So you might find an aftermarket one. Okay, that's the inner pitched. Love this color scheme. So it's not super heavy on the mesh. It's just a panel here that reaches all the way down with a pocket behind. And what I like is this footprint comes up quite high at key areas like the ends and the wind protector solid sides there also come up pretty high. So I think that'll give you a good bit of uh, draft protection. And of course, if you were pitching in the rain, it's not massively mesh. Well, that's a decent quality mesh and that's gonna keep an element of shower out as well. Now, before I forget, this is the two-man version of this tent. There's also a one-man version, and check out Andrew Park's video on the Fern Gok Ota One. MSR Hubber users and people familiar with this sort of tent will be going, don't do it that way. Click that underneath. Now, what there is, is some strong Velcro tabs should you choose to attach them. Probably for windy weather, it's gonna be a very good idea. And I'm pretty sure there's just four of those. It'll be just a case of pegging the door out each side. Right, that's it pitched. Now I haven't been able to put all the guys out because to pitch this properly requires 12 pegs and there's only 10 in there but it looks kind of uh, a lovely smooth profile there users of this type of tent that are familiar may comment on this that i would expected have expected some sort of retention for the short pole there inside there to stop it from moving around whether that's an issue or not in winds, I don't know, but that would have been good, good to see. And if you wanted to place a separate peg on the door retention there, you would need 14 pegs. The guys look like they've got some reflective material in them and a nice mini clamp pleat. Good, looks great. I like this short vertical end wall. And there's a vent inside here that's not mesh lined with a tough bit of Velcro just there. Two Velcro retention on the storm flap there. There's just one zip there. Would have been nice to have seen a double zip there so you could open it from the top. There's twin vestibules and ferns say that it's 90 centimeters. I make that 86, but it's still a decent size. You know, there'd be plenty of room to cook 
and put a rucksack each side. So with this tent, since the doors are pretty symmetrical, you could open and tie back either side. So if the wind was coming in from this direction, you could tie this door open and that side, of course, and you'd be sheltered from the wind, or you could flip that round, which would be great. And then you'd have the option of tying this door back as well. Perhaps it would be nice to see elastic on that. As always, my friends, brand new tent. In you go, you first. Whee. Nice. Right, well, of course, I'm not camping in this tonight. This is just a first impressions look. And uh, I'm struggling to get individual camping at the moment. And for instance, many of you will know that I am a assistant scout leader and we had the scouts away la last weekend on a big cycle camp. That was fabulous. But of course, I can't uh, film on that. And that takes up a lot of uh, weekends and time. Great fun though, but no YouTube material. Oh well. Nice to get back to doing some, something simple with just tents. And there's been a lot of politics on YouTube recently regarding some excellent tents I've been testing by Nortent. I'm going to be saying more about that later. Now, one thing I do want to get out of the way is honeycomb. Is I've come in for some criticism by some people. Come here. About taking the dog in rough conditions. Now, she might look like a little cute domestic dog, but this dog is actually an ex-Romanian street dog and she's absolutely nails. Now, on that front, I'll make the decisions about where I take my dog and in what weather and I'll protect her with my life. She's really important to me. Right, having said that, get myself a bit excited. Let's get some mats in and have a look at the inner of the tent. And if you're new to this channel, because I've had loads of subscribers recently, we're getting close to 5,000 and that's not my target, it's to get lots of people. My target is to just kind of enjoy tents really and, and camping and have a bit of chat amongst online friends and have a bit of a community going really. So if you're new because of the recent video, particularly about the German bag. Welcome, and uh, I hope you enjoy my future videos. I've got lots of good stuff coming. And if you want to know more about what's coming up, have a, a look at my lantern video I've just published, because at the end there, there's a big section about some upcoming cool gear. Right, what internal features have we got? So we've got a tab here, a tab here, a tab here. So that's four tabs. So inside on the roof here, you could fit a gear loft or have a little lattice, a square lattice. And at each end, there's a long pocket. I'd like to see what that's like in use. That could be floppy enough. So when you were lying there, stuff would hang down, but it's a nice long pocket. So that remains to be seen really. Hello. I just love getting in the tent. It's just a magical place each time, isn't it? It's just lovely. Special. <sighs> I'll put the dimensions up on the screen now, but firms say this is 213 long, 210 at a push, I make that. And they say it's 125 wide and I've got that 120 there so let's just make sure I've got that right yeah I can I've got 124 there at a push and they say the internal height is 105 centimeters and I've got that as let's get to the highest point 95 so that's okay and firm you did really well on the weights and measures they were kind of like spot on and the external package but uh, this isn't a massively generous two-person tent and these measurements are very slightly 
generous according to my measurements. I'm just loving the flex tail zero pump. It's lovely and light, USB-C rechargeable inside. And the nice thing about it with the sturdy connection, you can just leave it going in place there. It's really quick to inflate. Now, if you're interested in getting one of these, I've got a discount code. If you go on to Flextail and put in the code FELLMAN15, when you check out, you'll get 15% off. Links below in the description. That was super quick. Right, that's me lying down. And with these long vertical panels here, I've got a reasonable about of, amount of face space there. Now I'm six foot one or 186 centimeters. My jowls here that you're probably looking at are six centimeters by 15 centimeters. And with my head near touching there, but that's still okay. I've got space for my feet there and I'd be fine without my sleeping bag getting wet. And of course, there's a more solid panel there. So for a six foot one, I think it would be fine. Uh, six foot three at the limit. And if I lie diagonal there, if I was six foot four or five, I could lie across diagonally. But of course, that's making it into a one man tent. Now, two of us in here, and the dog at our feet. I think we just about manage it if we keep our feet in the, in the corner. But it'd be a tight squeeze. But there's a compromise with having a lightweight tent, isn't there? What do you think? Do you want to go camping? Do you want to go camping? Yeah? Yeah? Okay. As soon as we can, we'll go. All right? But this will be a palace for just me and the dog in here. It'll be absolutely loads of space. But me and my son, absolutely no problem at all. It's up to you really, how much space you like. I think two people would be absolutely fine. And of course, what you could do with this tent is completely remove the fly or have both doors open both sides and you'd have absolutely loads of through draft. The outer tent reaches quite far down to the ground so you're not going to get too much drafts and rain splash and stuff and as I say the footprints at a decent height and this comes up a good sort of 30 centimeters up here so you're not going to get too many drafts so for British conditions I think it's going to be great. Now what it'll be like in winds, I don't know, that remains to be seen. But for typical kind of like easy camping, I think it's going to be fabulous. And they're only 1.5 kilos. I'm really looking forward to that. Especially when you consider when I camp with my young son. He doesn't carry a lot, uh, unfortunately. So, you know, I've got a lot of extra gear there. So having some weight compromise on the, on the tent will be more than welcome. But yeah, it's a lovely place to be. You like camping, don't you, honey? Mm -hmm. I wish I was on an overnighter in the hills. And I wanted to say thanks to everybody as well that reached out to me on the Vern 2 storm video. I was intending that to be kind of like a nighter way to think and People were super supportive because I shared that I'd lost somebody. Now, just before that night, 24 hours before, I'd set out driving down the side of Allswater and my brother rang me to tell me that my father had died unexpectedly. So this last three weeks, it's been a lot of sorting out with that. The funeral's yet to come. I just wanted to say thank you to all you sweet guys and some girls that have uh, said that you wanted to extend your sympathy really just based on what on that one sentence and I think it just shows up what a fantastic bunch UK and US wild campers are that you spotted that and reached out in difficult circumstances so uh, I love you guys 
in a YouTube kind of remote way. But thanks. And um, please don't comment below about this. I just wanted to say uh, thanks. But it just highlights that while camping and the exercise that you get with that is just great for your mental health. It's just that place to kind of sort yourself out and take time to think and to think about doing the right thing, leaving no trace, having a low impact. Yeah. Some of the political stuff recently has turned me off it all a little bit recently. It, there's been quite a little bit of nastiness and sniping and bigotry, but when I've looked back at the, at the comments uh, on the whole, it's a really positive kind of community to be. So if you've got a really warm night, just in a couple of minutes, you could pop the outer off. And you could sleep in there. I've never done that. So comment below what you think about this tent. If you're thinking of buying one. I think it represents good value for money, really. And uh, I'm looking forward to using it. Definitely going to be staying in my tent stable. I've got a big problem in that I've got a lot of tents now. And uh, I've got some friends that will buy a tent or have a tent sent to them. And they'll use it for a short period and uh, move it on sell it and that's what helps to keep the channel going i've got a real problem with that i just love them all and uh, i've sold the odd one but uh, i struggle to sell them because i think that will be useful for this occasion and that will be useful for them i just love having them i think they're precious things so uh yeah this one uh will be a keeper so check out the rest of the stuff by Fern on their site and on Sports Pursuit. They've got a lot of fabulous gear, really well made at great prices. And I'm not just saying that because uh, they sent me this tent. The other Fern, including an event jacket I've been using in a lot of wet conditions uh, that I paid for myself has performed absolutely superbly. It's my best kind of like winter shell. Thanks for watching.